Welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, we are going to have Prince Jared and Nina elope. So they are just going to be with their close friends and family, um, and they're going to elope on this little island on Brindleton Bay. Um, but before we begin, I just want to remind you guys to subscribe and to click on the allow notifications button so you get notified when we post a new video. So we are here on this little island on Brindleton Bay. This is where we are getting Getting married. Prince Jared and Nina have actually moved in with each other. Um, they have, because Nina's parents, they actually both passed away. I was hoping that they would at least make it to see the grandchildren, but it doesn't look like they did. Um, so that is definitely sad. We have a huge crowd going on over here. Um, so that's probably not a good thing for them just trying to elope. We even have a passed out person here, right here also. So we have invited his uncle, King George, and his brother, Prince Adrian. So they're kind of the ones who have made this whole thing happen and helped out with everything. So we just have this little wedding arch right here, which is where we're going to get married. Um, and then we also, I mean, like I added this from the gallery and I think that, I mean, like we have really cute stuff. We have the kitchen here. We have the little museum for Brindleton Bay, which is kind of what comes with the lot anyway. So it just looks like they just upgraded it a little bit. But we have a lot of paparazzi taking pictures of us right now. So we're going to ask them to leave before we... Ooh, I don't want to threaten them. Just ask them to leave. Because this is just way too much for the wedding. So we don't need them all to see this. This is Prince Adrian. That's his brother. He is here to see their wedding for sure. So I think we need to ask a few other paparazzi to leave. Just try to clear it out a little bit. I don't think we're actually going to be able to clear them all out because it looks like a lot of these are just kind of fans. Can we ask fans to go away too? Um, I don't think so. Yeah. All right. That's fine. So people, you guys are going to have to move because our sims need to get married. So we're going to get married to Nina Shepard and... Hopefully that red-headed curly-haired sim moves because seriously, dude, just get out of the way. Can Oh no, you are not standing there during this wedding. Can I move her? Can you move sims in build mode? Please tell me you can. I do not want this sim to be here. I don't think you can. Oh my gosh. No, lady, you have to move. Okay. Well, this is great. This lady's just going to stand here. They're just going to stand there. Move, people. There's people getting married right now. All right, you guys are just way too close. The, she's freaking out. They're all freaking out. This is not a beautiful ceremony. What is this crowd? Oh, my gosh. Seriously? All right. That's fine. This is how eloping goes, I guess. They, they need to move. This is too much. Can you, can you please go away? All right. Well, that was the ceremony. That's fine. Uh, they eloped. Their brother saw it. Their uncle should have seen it. I don't know where he went. This, I hate this woman. She would not move. What is wrong with you? We hate you. We actually hate you. We are going to do a rude introduction and tell you to GTFO out of our lives because this just, you need to, lady, seriously, you are the worst sim in the entire world. That was awful. I'm so upset at this woman. I want her to move. This is ridiculous. She's still standing there too. Like she is fantasizing her own wedding as people are getting married in front of it. Whatever. All right. Whatever. We moved. We were. We moved. We got married. Um, so we are now going to move into our new castle. So Prince Jared moved in with Nina because, I mean, her parents passed away. He was fighting with his parents. They don't even know he really got married. They don't really want much to do with him. They're now betting on Prince Adrian being their heir to the throne. So we'll just have to see kind of if the relationship ends up rekindling with his parents, but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. His parents are, are getting a little older. They need to forgive him sooner or later because they should not hold a grudge forever, but they're just upset that their son, who they were super close with, kind of 
went against their word and married this girl anyway, or wanted to marry this girl anyway. Okay, so we are going to have our household move to the castle. They hadn't moved yet because their castle wasn't officially ready to be moved into yet. And I'm really excited that you guys get to see the castle on the inside. Um, so this is going to be great. I'm really excited. All right, so they are going to sell their furniture. And of course, we want the castle to be furnished. So now they are officially moved in. Um, and we can go check it out. So we are now here at, it's called the Golden Blue Palace, is what it's called in the gallery, um, but we're going to change it to the Brindleton Bay Palace. So we actually also need to change their names because they are going to be the king and queen of Brindleton Bay. We're going to have like a little coronation ceremony type thing. Um, so we're just going to invite a few of our friends over. So we're going to plan a small social event. I don't want this to take up the entire video because... I'm not going to keep this video going for much longer, um, but we just kind of want to invite people over. And I think every coronation ceremony is kind of going to be like a charity event. Um, oh, never mind. I can't do that. Probably because he hasn't achieved quite the level of politician that we want him to, um, which is probably not the best thing in the world. So maybe, maybe we'll do the coronation ceremony another episode, or maybe I'll just like skip through it and save that for the Winded Brick episode, because um, I don't know, I don't want to focus on that too much. I just kind of want to show you guys the palace, because it's beautiful. I love it so much. I need to change some of the rooms, or just add more rooms in general. But look at how gorgeous this is. It's amazing. Whoever did this is amazing. I am so impressed. I, I wish I had like a basement or something, but that's totally fine. Okay, so you can just kind of see each of these rooms here. So some of it is pretty contemporary, contemporary, um, but also mixed with uncontemporary things like the statue here with these chairs and table. Um, this kitchen, I was thinking of changing, not 100% sure yet. Um, and then we have over here the living room with an indoor, oh no, that's a dance floor. I thought it was an indoor pool for a second. So that's a dance floor. That's cool because that's where you can throw parties and stuff. We have a bedroom down here, but I think any bedroom downstairs should be for the butler, um, which this would be an amazing room for a butler. Gosh, any butler would just be so blessed to have that room. We have a little greenhouse here. I'm debating turning this into something else too just because we're not huge gardeners. Although her parents, uh, Nina's parents, are both gardeners. So maybe just to pay tribute, she might be more into gardening. Um, and then we also have some rooms up here. I think I just need to like add a, a floor here and uh, put a bedroom up here because we need to add more bedrooms. Like we have all these little tower like room-ish things, but that is not big enough for a bedroom. This could be a bedroom, a very small bedroom. Um, we need like a large one though. We have a library up here. I feel like, ooh, that's really nice though. I don't know, I, should, I need to add a bedroom up here. And then we have our third floor here, and there is one bedroom up here, but this is like an attic bedroom, so I think this needs to be fixed too. Then this right here could be another bedroom as well. So you guys can kind of see everything. We are being welcomed to the neighborhood by the Fangs. That's so sweet of them. So we are going to name the Fangs um, the Duke and Duchess of uh, Brindleton Bay because they are kind of like they helped contract all the houses and the buildings in this world is kind of what we're going with. Um, so they are very, very important people, very wealthy people. I think they also have just had a child as well. Um, so... They are definitely important people that we want to get along with. Um, he needs to invite them in and open the door, though. I don't know why he's not doing that. Um, invite your neighbors in. Why can you not open the door? I don't know what's going on. I think you need to just... If Nina can invite them in, too, that would be fabulous. All right, so Prince Jared is inviting them in, so that's okay. So yeah, they have a baby. I think it's an infant or a toddler or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so they are important. They are going to be the Duke and Duchess. I think I will, by the next episode, I'll have everyone um, renamed. Um, and then I'll also have more people moved into here because there is another family called the Cody's. Um, and they own a few restaurants, so they are going to be um, some pretty... 
uh, important people in this neighborhood as well. Um, but yeah, so we can just like, I mean, they're, they're only neighbors. They're the only other ones in the world right now. Um, and you guys have kind of gotten to see the castle as well. So by the next episode, I'll have everything remodeled. But I really love this castle. It's gorgeous. Um, and I'm excited for them because I think they're going to probably try to start having kids right away because we want our kids to be around the same age as Prince Henry and Princess Alice's kids. Who, by the way, I think Princess Alice is also about to be pregnant again um, because they were... They, I mean, they want to have as they want to have a good amount of kids. I'm thinking two or three. You guys can tell me what you think. Um, because the last family, we usually have about three kids. We've had like four kids in the past. King George has three other siblings, so they had four kids in his family. Um, and then we had three kids for this family. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to end this episode here. In the next episode, we'll kind of do a little catch up. We might even focus on Princess Cora and Prince Edmund um, because they, I have their relationship has been getting really strong. So I think Prince Edmund is going to propose soon as well. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like and comment and share. Um, and we will see you guys the next episode.